maybe it's time we all took a more practical approach to marriage and maybe that would lead to less disappointment and actually less divorce. I mean, it's pretty clear that most people don't actually marry for um, a passionate consuming love match. I mean, they may talk themselves into it. It may seem that way, but you know, it, it doesn't stay that way. I think it would benefit everyone if the people in the relationship got together and said, okay, what is it exactly that we do want out of this marriage? And list out everyone's needs. These are my needs, these are your needs. And then take a look and see where you guys are in alignment, right? So let's say each of you has 10 things on your list and you're in alignment on seven of them, great. That's one thing neither one of you are going to argue about and that's one, well, rather seven things um, that you guys can share a love about. Perfect. Now, there's three things on your list. There's three things on that person's list. You then need to have a very frank and open discussion on are we willing to compromise on those things that you cannot meet for me? Or are we willing to allow one another space to get those needs met in another way? I think if we start taking that type of a practical, logical, realistic approach and stop putting all of that pressure on one person, it could lead to a more fulfilling overall marriage and partnership.